All right, fam. So I wasn't planning on making no video today because y'all already got one out of me. You know what I'm saying? I wasn't trying to work myself too much. You feel me? But I came across a sad story. Uh, it just recently just happened. I believe it happened some sometime last night. But I seen uh, I seen a lot of people post on it. And I was like, let me do a little bit more research on it and then get my little take on it or whatever. So apparently a New Jersey councilwoman, uh, I'm not going to pronounce her name. I'm not going to lie. It's, it looked like all eating. I'm not even going to try to pronounce it. Just out of respect for her, I'm not going to like even try to pronounce it. But apparently she was gunned down and people it's a lot of different point of views on it people think it's but you know because of a political uh viewpoint or whatever it is you know but i'm not going to say it's between like a political viewpoint because i don't know you know what i'm saying i don't know so i'm not going to jump straight to conclusions but it may be it may not who knows we really don't have all the details that we truly need to know if this was politically motivated or not but without further ado enough talking think go ahead get right into the video <sighs> Let go. Breaking news, New Jersey Councilwoman Eunice Jumor Jufor was shot. And Eunice. That is a unique name. Eun I'm not just saying that because she's Republican. I'm not just saying that. No, I'm not. But you Eunice and the E is silent. That's crazy. I never heard somebody name like that. That's that's dope. That's really dope. Jumor Jufor was shot and killed outside of her home in Sayreville, New Jersey. Late last night, she crashed her car after being repeatedly shot while behind the wheel. A 30-year-old Republican councilwoman was pronounced dead at the scene after being shot multiple times. And police believe she was the intended target. But so far, a motive for this shocking, cold-blooded killing remains a mystery. New Jersey reporter Anthony Johnson live at the scene in Sayreville with the breaking details. Anthony. The councilwoman was sitting in her Nissan Murano vehicle just a few feet from where I am standing. That's where the shots rang out. Residents out here, they heard the shots last night around 730, saying there were multiple shots, a series of shots that they heard. The councilwoman's car then took off down this road, and it crashed into a vehicle down the road from here, and that's where police found her dead inside of the vehicle. And as you said, now police and authorities are looking for a motive. I heard the bang, bang, bang in, in succession twice. The murder of Councilwoman Eunice Jumfor has shaken her neighbors who were home when shots rang out last night around 7.30 in the roadway next to her apartment building. I can't tell you how many it was, but I heard boom, 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 boom. And I'm like, oh shoot, that is a gunfire. June 4 was elected to the city council in 2022 and was seen one, here uh, attending a council back. meeting on January 23rd of this year. She is from Newark, right New Jersey, and was serving as a member of the GOP on the Sayreville Council. The fact that this incident happened in this quiet neighborhood is shocking. Like five or seven gunshots. That's basically it. I think I was ready to peek out the window when I didn't. Then I just walked away. The councilwoman was found inside her car which traveled about 100 feet and slammed into two other parked vehicles. At this point, it appears the councilwoman's murder was targeted. I mean, I pray for their family. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. I'm just praying for them right now. Now, a couple of residents out here say that. See, certain people just don't need to be on the news. You just want You just want your little, you just want your, you just want your little five second, five second view, huh? You, you didn't even know what to say. You, hey, 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 I'm a witness. Oh, you a witness? What do you think about what you think about what just happened to this woman? Uh, uh, I'm just praying for her family, man. Like, yeah, I don't know. I'm just praying for her family. Man, come on, bro. You just want your little, you just wanted to get on TV. You finna go home and like, hey, that's me. Like, come on, bro. Some people just don't need to be on television or the news, period. <laughs> Like, come on, bro. They did see somebody run from the scene. There's a separation between a couple of these apartment buildings. They saw that person running in that direction, then finally jumping over a fence to get away from the scene. There is a camera near this location that may have picked up something. Investigators are still out here on the scene. This case is being handled, of course, by local cops and the Middlesex County Prosecutor's Office. Okay. Now, first thing first. Uh, first thing first, uh, my condolences go out to her and her family. You know, my condolences go out. It's a sad situation, and I heard that she is a 30 year old mother of one. To grow without your mother, regardless if you know, as a boy, girl, whatever, you feel me, just to grow out without that mother's love, you know what I'm saying, or just to grow without your mother, period. That you know, that's some tragic, you feel me. I couldn't imagine losing my mother 
at the age that I'm at now. I still don't even want to imagine losing my mother. You feel me? I just couldn't do that. But to, you know what I'm saying, a lot of people want to say, you know, it's Republican. I mean, it's um, it's a political, it's political motivated, whatever, her viewpoints. She got, it was targeted, this and that. Let's just not jump to conclusions without the full facts. That's what we cannot do. You feel me? We can't sit there and say that this was politically motivated, whatever. We can't sit there and say that without the full facts. You feel me? Because again, this could have been uh this could have been a, a a person who thought that this person was somebody else. You feel me? They was after somebody else. She probably got the same car as that person. They probably thought who they was after was that person's wife, girlfriend, whatever. It could be anything in the books. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not going to sit here and say, oh, this was politically motivated, this and that. But what I am going to say is that Republicans are being targeted. You feel me? They don't like us. They don't like our viewpoints. They don't like our voice. They don't like us expressing how we feel about certain situations. They don't like us that they put everything on us. They say that we're violent. They say that we this. They say that we that. But this is to wake people up that Republicans are being targeted. Now, like I said, I don't know if this was truly a politically motivated situation because, bro, I see... I hear about so many gun violence throughout America, period. You feel me? It's just a lot of people who just want to kill, 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 and destroy. They just like the devil. That's all they want to do. But again, I can't seriously sit here and say, man, this was politically motivated. They did this because she was Republican. Who do I look like saying that when it could be anything in the books? But I do know for a fact, and I will stand on that Republicans, we are targeted because they, they don't like what we got to say. You feel me? We're never, we, we barely get into office. It's hard to, you know, it's going to be hard to just see a Republican freaking uh, president. You know what I'm saying? We, yeah, we had Trump, whatever. But I'm saying, like, from here on out, it, it's hard to even get Republicans into office. For real, for real. Because they, like, they don't like the fact that we're pro-life and we're this and we're that. And we have this viewpoints on abortion and we have this viewpoints on LGBT. And we, you know what I'm saying? They don't like that. They don't like the truth. The truth hurts sometimes. But I will always stand on do not kill somebody because y'all have different viewpoints. I don't care what it, I don't care what the case is. I, I don't care. I would never in my life hurt somebody else because they had a different viewpoint than I did. You think that school should teach about gender identity and this and teach that and teach and me. I don't think that, but what I'm not going to do is harm you, take you away from your family because your viewpoints is totally different from my viewpoints. That's what I'm not going to do. I'm not going to kill. I'm not going to hurt you. I'm not going to hate you. I'm going to still have love for you. I just don't have love for your viewpoints. I don't respect or, you know what I'm saying? I don't, uh, I don't agree. I'm going to use that word instead of respect. I don't agree with your your viewpoints, but that doesn't mean that I'm going to target you, go after you, kill you, do whatever. You know what I'm saying? Do it. me To me, this whole situation, it seemed like this was all planned out in some type of way. They say this is a quiet neighborhood. So if it's a quiet neighborhood, that means it's not that much violence that happened around that neighborhood. It may not be no violence that happened around that neighborhood. Because I know the neighborhood that my parents live in, it's a very quiet neighborhood. And not one gunshot, not nobody got, nobody ever got killed in that particular neighborhood. Maybe a couple streets down, whatever. But in that neighborhood, nobody never got killed. Nobody never, it was no gunshots. None of that. You know what I'm saying? So for maybe somebody knew where she lived. They was after her. They could have been after her for her political uh, viewpoints. They could have been after her just because they thought she was somebody else. They 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 probably targeted the wrong person. They maybe was after, I don't know if she got a husband, boyfriend. They probably was after the boyfriend, husband, whatever. They could have been after whatever. You never know. You know what I'm saying? It could have, it could have been any type of motivated, any type of motivation behind it. You feel me? But in today's society, it's like, What's what's really what's really any motivation behind any type of gun violence? It seems like people just want to kill people just to kill people. I mean, I'm just being honest. You got people missing their whole entire target. Dude, right? Look, look, look. This is how I really be. Yo, 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 your your opposition is right here. Your op, the one that you want to hurt and kill, is right here. His daughter is right here. This, uh, this is a real scenario. His daughter is right here. You point the gun, you're aiming. But you end up aiming at the little girl, missing the whole time. And you don't aim at her on purpose. You just accidentally shoot and the, the bullet just fume and kill her. Like, I mean, that's just really how these scenarios be. But y'all let me know what y'all think about this in the comment section below. Uh, this is a very, very, very 
sad situation. It's actually disturbing too, because I really want to know what was the motivation behind it. But again, I don't want to jump to conclusions on them. I don't want to say this was because she was Republican. Like I don't want to sound like that. I don't want to be those. I don't want to be those people. But again, we all know how they feel about Republicans. We all know how people hate Republicans so much. But even even social media, they hate Republicans. <laughs> even social media, they love Democrats. But it is what it is. This is the life that we live. Uh, God bless America, man. I love each and every one of y'all. Y'all seriously, let me know how y'all feel about this in the comment section below. Let me know how y'all been feeling about the quality lately on the videos, the, you know what I'm saying, the editing. I've been trying to do a little something different. You feel me? Just try to get y'all something different. I got more videos coming on the way. I love each and every one of y'all. Enough talking. God bless. Stay blessed. Peace.